Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, today I finally am putting up the video for the Bite Beauty Astrological Sign that was just put out and that is Virgo. Yes, Virgo. So I know I'm a little bit behind so people are probably like, because I know some people really like these. Um, we're like, where's Binky? I've been traveling. So that is where I've been. But I am back and I'm here with Virgo. So, if you watched my previous video, you would know that that was Leo, the gold one, that usually I do a prediction for the next one, and I was really surprised actually for what they put out with Virgo. And this is what I'm gonna why I'm gonna say it. I think it's an absolutely beautiful color. But Virgo is um, very much, the earth signs in general tend to be very practical. And Virgo, out of all of them, is probably the most practical. You know, the earth signs are analytical. They think things through. It's not usually an emotional knee-jerk reaction to things. Things are really thought out. doesn't mean they're not emotional. It's just they're practical. You know, they're grounded on the earth. And again, Virgo is probably the most so of the three earth signs and so it was kind of surprising <laughs> to see something quite as bold as this color but what i'm going to do is show you this is the um glyph for lovely virgo and as you can see they kind of hint at what the color is yeah <laughs> nobody kind of expected this at least i mean i know i didn't i went with um i was going to go with the more sheer color something that was a little bit more neutral because I think that tends to be a little bit more what Virgo is and it doesn't mean that Virgo doesn't have a little bit of spice to it because the thing is Virgo does but you have to get to know Virgo before you start seeing some of that freaky side and it's the truth it's there it's just hidden buttoned up and beautiful until you get to know them on a personal level whether it be a friend or whatever kind of relationship and then you start seeing the freak that Virgo is because I know you are it's just it's, it's undercover <laughs> so this is again the glyph and here is the color yes I don't think anyone saw this coming it, it kind of almost reminds me though it's not quite it reminds me of Aquarius the color Aquarius Aquarius was more purple in color so it was a little bit more berry and purpley you know a little bit more unique and I, I'm not saying that this isn't quite lovely it is but Aquarius in general is quirky and kind of unique and it kind of turns things up on its head and um, sees things in a different way. This is a little bit more standard, but still a really beautiful color. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'll swatch it here so you can see what it looks like. So it is kind of a berry red color. Yes, which really does not scream Virgo. And I know a lot of Virgos freaking love this color. I've been reading online. I think I think they're actually sold out at this point. So I'm sorry again because this is coming out later. But I really hope that Bite Beauty will put a vault out at the end of the year or at the beginning of next year. They really should. Even if it's just in the mini so everybody can have these. But it's, it's very similar to Aquarius. And I looked everywhere to show Aquarius but unfortunately I can't find it anywhere. And I, I know it's in this apartment and it's really upsetting because it's one of the best lipsticks ever. But this is kind of similar and it just again you know it just really doesn't scream Virgo Virgo's very practical Virgo wouldn't wear this color every day Virgo wouldn't wear this to the office every day so I was kind of surprised so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do a live swatch with this so you can see what it looks like and we will go on This is Virgo. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's um, it's really, really red. It's supposed to be berry red, and I can see how it definitely has a cool tone pull to it. So this definitely isn't a warm tone. Um, Aries was very much a warm tone, but this, no. It's very much a cool tone red, which I love because I'm a cool tone. <laughs> so I was like, yes! But they were saying it was a little bit more berry, and I'm not necessarily seeing this. I do apologize because the application didn't go on quite as well as I would have liked. It's a little bit sloppy, especially on this side. I apologize. I tried to fix it. 
I want to show it in, in its natural form without lip liner. I really do think that the formula of this really does need a lip liner. And I'm actually one of those people who's not a big fan of lip liners. I'll just throw lipstick on and go out, you know. But with this, I do find it smells beautiful. So it's that beautiful by beauty smell that you expect. It's absolutely wonderful. That citrusy, fresh smell. So it has that. But what I do find about this is that the formula is a little stiffer. So the last, I, I think one, there was one other one that was like that. Maybe it was Aries, but it was a little bit more stiffer. And so when you put it on, you know, it, it was Pisces, I think. But it doesn't matter. But it, one of them was very stiff. And so when you put it on, it drags the lips a little bit much. The problem is with the color this bold, you know, that could be dangerous. <laughs> so, you know, if you're, you're dragging it, which if you can see when I first put it on, it did drag a little bit and it was a little bit drier in consistency. When you have it on the lips, it's not dry. What happens is that your heat of your lips basically moistens it or loosens it a little bit. And it's extremely moisturizing. Beautiful formula, but it isn't necessarily as creamy as Bite Beauty's normal, normal formula. So, it is a little bit stiffer. It's definitely not a matte, but, I could, you know, but it, it definitely is not as creamy as other Bite Beauty lipsticks. So, be aware of that. And uh, so, there's going to be a little bit of drag. So, you know when you put that on the lips and there's that drag, that it could be a little bit dangerous, especially with the bright color like this. So, I would suggest, which I'm going to do, is pull out my, um, I do have some lip liners, like about eight of them. I rarely use them and I have one similar to this so I will line my lips before putting this on to make sure that it goes on quite beautifully because it didn't quite go on as well as I wanted over here and I tried using the tip and it's just lip liner. That's the answer. I love it. I really do love it. You know maybe a little bit more of a harder sell for somebody who's very very warm tone but you know if you're a little bit warm neutral or a cool tone I think this is going to be lovely or you can just be like me. I want to make sure I don't have lipstick on my teeth. Be like me and don't care. I wear warm lipsticks all the time. It's not the most flattering, but I want to, and so I will. And I completely applaud that, so I hope you do too. But I think it's a beautiful color. I think it'll be gorgeous going into fall. You know, summer's ending here soon. We're almost at, you know, mid-September, uh, heading into there. And once we hit past that time, you know, we'll be heading into fall. And I think this is just going to be a gorgeous color for that. I just, for Virgo, I never would have suspected this. And, and then I thought about it and I realized maybe it's because Bite Beauty realizes that the other ones when they're being more experimental didn't do necessarily as well or they didn't sell out. So I feel like maybe they were like, let's go with something red again. And, and I feel like because people get disappointed with the colors that are a little bit more out there, that they're being a little bit more docile and and I hope that's not the case because I know like I think with cancer they were trying to go for more of a Taurus look this is more close to Aquarius and so I think I just hope they're not playing it safe just to make people happy because I actually like it when they stick closer to the signs and what they represent this would never represent Virgo even if you're a Virgo and you love this this is not a color that screams Virgo you know Virgo is practical Virgo is analytical. Virgo is about day to day and lists and making sure that everything is done correctly. You know, they're the ones who are going to double check everything when the group work is done to make sure that yep, it got the Virgo seal of approval. And, you know, this is just something that they wouldn't wear every day. This is not something most Virgos would wear to the office. There's going to be exceptions, but for the most part, that's not what they're going to do because it's not practical. You know, so I, I was kind of surprised by this. This screams a little bit more Aries to me. It really does. So, so this is the part where I talk a little bit more about the sign of Virgo and, and experiences. And as I said, um, they're interesting. Um, it's funny because I, if you're into astrology, I notice for me at least, I'll see that I tend to hang out with a lot of certain signs a lot or I'll find them in certain areas of my life more than others. And I have to be honest with you, I do not have a lot of Virgo influence necessarily in my life. Um, I'm in Aries with a lot of Gemini and Aquarius, which tells you I am woohoo and quirky as heck. So, yeah, quirky, fast moving, always like boo, 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 you know, um, 
I'm always looking to have a good time, even at work. I always get my stuff done, but I'm going to find the fun way to do it rather than the boring way. That's just not my way. So what's interesting, though, is though I do not have a lot of Virgo friends in my life, I have worked with a lot of Virgos. And actually, I get along with them quite well in that respect. Um, they don't always like the approach of the way that I do things because, again, I, I, I tend to be a little bit more of a fun time Charlie. And they're uh, like, come on, you know, let's focus, which, okay, I get. But I get along with them well because, at least for me and I feel for a lot of Aries, we get stuff done. We get it done. We just kind of get it done really quickly, which scares Virgo because they feel like we're not getting it done correctly because they're like, come on. And so, though I don't have a lot of personal stories with them, as, as, as people and friends in everyday life, um, which I don't see my friends every day anyway, but I actually probably see the work people more. With the Virgos that I worked with, I got along with them minus one because she just, I think the way I dealt with things, she did not like. And I remember she looked at me and she goes, you're an Aries, aren't you? And I went, yeah, I am. And I go, Virgo? And she goes, yeah. I went, yeah. Because I just didn't like this person. It had nothing to do with that she's a Virgo. She just was like, boy, she was a pain in my but anyway, but I've worked with quite a few, and if you've watched my Get Ready With Me video, you know, I, you know I'm an artist, and I've done a lot of temping, and so I bounced around different jobs, and everyone that I did when I was temping, I'd always get called back, and all of these bosses were Virgos. They freaking loved me, because I got the work done, I was always on time, I was responsible, sometimes my approach was a little bit crazier than they would like, but... This is an extreme version of a Virgo, but I'm going to go here. So here's my story. I worked with this guy. It was in um, some church. There's a lot of churches here. It's just a temp job. And they said, you're going to work at a church. I won't list which one. I went, what? A church? Okay. Not that I'm against it, but it's just kind of a strange. But you temp in places like this. Um, I temped at the Intrepid, which is a battle or a battle cruiser. I, I temped everywhere across the city. So I was there. And I remember the first thing he told me, which was very Virgo, they can compartmentalize things. He goes, this is a church. He goes, but there's God and there's finance. You work for finance. And I went, okay. And he stole me from a different department because I was actually tipping somewhere else. I answered the phone. I was extremely professional. And he loved it. He <laughs> was like, he stole me from that department because he was a CFO and put me as his EA for about three months and gave me flexibility to do what I needed to do. And it was just funny because he got what he wanted. He's like, she's efficient, she presents herself well, done. This guy, if the phone rang, you had to pick it up within two rings or he would go nuts. If at any time there was a red box, like if you have a voicemail, there's a red like mark on the, the phone, he would flip out. I see red, I see red, Binky, I see red. And so I'm like, okay, I see that. And I go, I will take care of the message. I just stepped away to use the facilities. It's okay. So then I would give him the message. It had to be written a specific way. And I remember he had plants. He loved plants. And so I had to take the plants. And I had to put water on them a specific way. <laughs> it was so bizarre. So he would tell me, it has to be done this way. You come in. You take it to the bathroom you, you, at the, on this day on Wednesdays, and you, you tell it good morning. I'm like, okay. So then you have to pour it in, make sure you do it all exact amount of water across, and then you have to turn it so it faces me with this emblem showing on the base. He always had meetings on Wednesday morning, so I would do it before he got into the office because he was in a, in a meeting within the church, and so... <laughs> Of course, being the Aries that I am, we, we could be jerks and we don't like to be told what to do, especially when we see it being kind of, in our view, irrational. To Virgo, it's completely rational. It's like, yeah, you do this and this is always, you're always going to get the same result. And Aries sometimes like to shake it up a bit. So me being the Aries jerk that I am, and I go, yeah, I got it. I, oh, you got it, John. You got it. So he would go to the meeting and I would just dump the water in there and it was already facing him and then I would take a paper towel and clean it up around and then just walk out and go to my desk. And then I, I remember before I closed the door, I'm like, good morning, plant. And I walked out because it was just like, what? So it's kind of funny. And, and I've worked with a lot of Virgos and, and 
you know, we learn to work together quite well because I actually respect Virgo because they're hard workers. You want them on their team because they're, they're not going to put up the shenanigans of idiots who don't want to work and they will not have it. Oh, I love Virgos. I do. They're just very particular. They're, they're very focused. They know what they want and how it should be done. And I feel like sometimes they're misunderstood because people are like, they're bossy or they're like just such perfectionists that they're, it's not fun for other people. It's like, no, they, 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 they're systematic. They see a certain way they're supposed to do things and they want it done that way. And they just realize that if everybody did this, the system would work better. It's just sometimes they don't always understand that other people have a different viewpoint of that as people do. So, you know, we can't work without Virgo. You can't have a world without Virgo. This place would fall apart. I hope you enjoy your month's color. I'm actually curious if there's any Virgos who stop by. Let me know what you think about this. Because I really thought it was going to be a docile kind of shimmery color. You know, more neutral with a little bit of shimmer in it or something that you could wear day to day. So I was really kind of thrown off by this. So let me know, Virgos. Happy birthday first off. Because I didn't say that. Happy birthday to you. I hope it's fantastic. And let me know what you think. I need to hear some Virgos out there. Because, I mean, this is something that Aries would wear. So, hey, you know what? We're, yeah, we're like this right now, guys. Which is rare because we're usually... Whoop. But anyway, happy birthday, Virgo. Happy, happy birthday. So, the next sign coming up is Libra. The scales of justice. Libra. They're an air sign. They are uh, ruled by Venus along with Taurus. They both are. So they love things to be a, a, a specific way. They love beauty. They present themselves in a very beautiful way. They have a beautiful aura about them because of that. It's, it's a lovely sign to be ruled by. But they believe in balance. They believe in intellect. They, um, they're, they're the balance. They're about balance. And so... I'm going to be wrong again, but place your bets. I've not been doing well, but for me, I think what would represent, usually when you think of Libra, they tend to use pastel colors, the balance, and they tend to think of almost childish colors. Um, so you have baby blue and baby pink is usually what represents Libra. Some people will also use silver because of the scales, but I really doubt they're going to put a silver lipstick out there. I don't think blue is going to happen with Libra because it wouldn't be practical because Libra is practical in the way that it presents itself. They don't tend to be over the top with the way that they dress. They tend to be very, these are classic looking people, very classic. So I think we're going to see something a little bit more sheer. Not sheer, but a little bit more docile. Maybe what I was thinking for Virgo. I thought both these colors would be very docile before we went into the stronger colors of Scorpio, you know, and Sagittarius. So I really do think, I do think, that it is going to be a little bit more of a pinky or mauve color with a little bit of, not sheer, but um, some kind of like sparkle in it. I really think that that would work well for Libra. But we'll see, because Virgo totally threw me off. I was like, Virgo? This should have been Aries, but you know, whatever. So that's what I'm going to say. It's going to be a shimmery pink or um, mauve kind of color, light, light color with some re reflect in there. Something in there to make it a little bit sparkly and special to represent the scales and the beauty that is Libra. So... Let me know what you think, especially you Virgos. I want to hear what's going on. If you picked it up, what do you think of the formulas? Maybe yours looser than mine because, ooh, I'm curious. What do you think of the color? Let me know. And until next time, have a fabulous day. <laughs> Bye.